can't wait to get out of here. These were words that I heard all through high school, and I often heard them coming from myself. As teenagers, we had the mentality that there was nothing on the coast for us, and we couldn't wait to get away. What we never would have imagined at the time was that in only a few years, the Sunshine Coast would be reborn into a pivotal hub for culture and creativity and forward thinking and all the things that, as young people, we had been so desperately craving. Right now, there is a stirring cultural movement and creative energy that's sweeping the coast. From combined coffee shops and surf galleries, high-end fashion labels with ethical values, conservation groups who are using art and music to spread their message, and young people excelling in surfing, skating, art and music. Even surfing itself is no longer just a sport, it's become an outlet for creation. And not just the board designs themselves, but the board shorts, the bikinis and wetsuits, the surf film and photography, the way that we surf. These have all now become canvases for creatives to push the boundaries of their art in ways that have never been done before. People who would have previously been alienated from that surfing community for not necessarily being athletes are now raised up as a crucial part of that industry. Now more than ever, there is a growing trend amongst young people to venture into various creative fields. I graduated high school with a great deal of academic success. I went to university on scholarship where I began studying a dual degree in science. I was someone who was expected to succeed academically and it had never really occurred to me that it could be any other way than that. After a year of uni, however, I soon realised that that kind of institution and career was of absolutely no interest to me. So I took what was a pretty major risk for an 18-year-old and I deferred. And like so many other young people were beginning to do, I chose to pour my heart into what it was that I really loved, creativity. I now co-run a local publication and young collaborative movement called Tidal. My partner in Tidal, Taylor and I, believe that ensuring that the talents of our generation are noticed as something that absolutely demands importance. And we wanted to find a way to showcase some of this exceptional youth that we were being surrounded by. We started the project when we were 17 and 18, and I believe that our age has played an integral role in the success of our business. Being so young has given us a confidence and a fire when it comes to taking risks and following our hearts. Generally speaking, when I talk to adults about Tidal, their first reaction is to ask about money, or comment on how hard it must be, or treat it as some kind of side project that could never really have any major significance on the community. Whereas when I speak to people closer to my own age, their reaction is much different, and they immediately light up and start sharing ideas and asking how they can be involved, and truly seeing the potential for a project like this to generate change. One of the driving forces behind the project was wanting to change some of the stereotypes about these young people. There are a lot of negative connotations about teenagers, about their motives and their drive or their lack thereof. Personally, I could not disagree more. I have never seen anyone work as hard as some of the young people that I am surrounded by. I have seen such a hunger for success in the eyes of my peers, and it's a hunger that knows no fear of hard work or failure. I have seen motivation and passion and commitment and energy that goes far beyond their years, and I've seen these young people put everything on the line in the hopes that their dreams soar. I know that for myself, title is the first and last thing that I think about every day. It ignites a fire in my heart and pushes me to work harder and to do more and to be more. I might only be 20 years old, but already I know that this project and this entire creative movement are what is going to define me. In my early teens, I often felt ostracized from the creative community because I couldn't paint or draw. And in my head, they were the two key parts of what it was to be creative. So it's been interesting now to see that I have the ultimate creative job in that I actually get to shape and design and develop this movement within itself. 
But we have seen more and more of this. People who were never previously considered creative are now leading that industry. This community is, is not exclusive anymore, and there are opportunities for us to create in every aspect of life and business. One new business who have mastered the concept of combining creativity and business is Glass Coffee House in Maruchudor. Glass was started by four young people and is a combined boutique coffee shop and surf gallery. One of the owners, Mitch Thurman, is a board shaper, and alongside the coffee, he displays and sells his craft from the shop. Another owner, Sebastian Robertson, is an amazing photographer, and his work graces an entire wall. Glass is the ultimate collaboration of creative pursuits, and we have seen more and more of these cultural hubs begin to open on the Sunshine Coast. It's why we're noticing this growing trend for people to take their laptops and their notebooks down to their local cafe to work, because no matter their profession, they are the most inspired when they're surrounded by that energy and creativity and sense of community. Through my work, I have access to some incredibly talented and creative young people. And often these people's work directly competes against one another. However, I have never seen any hostility or rivalry. In fact, I've actually been quite overwhelmed by the sense of support within this community. Creatives aren't competing, they're collaborating. They're feeding off each other's passion and, and sharing ideas. They're buying local and showing up to support one another. And it's this collaborative movement that is redefining the way that everything is being done. We saw this support firsthand a few months ago. We held a pop-up art show in Moffat Beach where we exhibited a collection of pieces from local artists. And on the night, we had 16 to 60-year-olds come along which for any other events of that kind, it may have seemed unusual, but there wasn't a divide. Everyone was together and interacting, and there was such a strong sense of community. I can remember looking around at one point of the night and seeing young people and adults alike having truly thought-driven and inspired conversations about the art and about creativity. And we had teenagers buying art. Now, this was something that I had never seen before. These are kids who can barely afford to buy themselves lunch on the weekends, yet they believed so strongly in the value of that art and in the importance of what that creative does that they wanted to support it. And this was such a pivotal moment in the entire movement because I had known that for myself, art and creation was always incredibly important. But to see so many other young people feeling the same way and truly thriving in such a creative environment just cemented the knowledge that youth are crying out for culture. And, and we are trying to use this creative movement as a beacon to inspire and to connect the community. There has never been as much talent and as much potential for creative growth as there is right now on the coast. And it's, it's these grassroots projects that are so crucial in shaping and developing the Sunshine Coast. Every time an artist has their work hung in a store, every time a new organic cafe opens or a musician releases an album, every time that Sunshine Coast locals pursue their creative desire, we are creating an identity for ourselves and for our home. And when we support grassroots projects, we're doing more than just stimulating the local economy. We're growing the coast's culture, we're defining our community, and we are strengthening the depth of our humble home. Tidal was born from a conversation that Taylor and I had whilst we were in the ocean. And I think that that in itself is at the core of what separates the Sunshine Coast. The way we combine creativity and community with our incredible natural surroundings. Here, you can come home from a day in the office and go and jump straight in the ocean. A cathartic practice that you can't help but draw inspiration from. The last few years, I have moved up and down the East Coast, but something continues to bring me back here. And putting aside the breathtaking beauty of our part of the coastline, there is something else that continues to draw me back to the coast. And it's this movement of forward progression and forward thinking that is currently reshaping the Sunshine Coast. If you ask anyone who has not spent much time here what they think of when they hear the words Sunshine Coast, besides the beach, there's probably not much that comes to mind. 
And whilst this is certainly pivotal to our life here, we have the potential to be seen as so much more. The Sunshine Coast has the potential to be seen as the destination for creativity and culture, for innovation and for community. And this shift towards creativity is not a new idea that's starting to pop up, that people are starting to talk about. It is already a, a major movement that I guarantee, if you look around you, you will see being showcased everywhere. There has never been the amount of, of talent and energy and potential for creative growth as there is right now. And we have a, a unique opportunity to be a part of this collective movement and a part of the rebirth and renewed image of our home. And just as we're doing here today, it is so important to share and to celebrate this creation and innovation because it is the future of the Sunshine Coast. Thank you.